Although many of our beliefs are formed from age zero to seven years old, there are other major factors that influence how we integrate information. Belief perseverance and confirmation bias are two of them. Let's explore what that means. According to Psychology, confirmation bias is the tendency to look for, interpret, and remember information according to your beliefs, whereas belief perseverance is said to be a state wherein a person refuses to change his beliefs even though his beliefs might be proven wrong. In essence, confirmation bias is our natural tendency to look for information that supports the beliefs, values, or ideas we already hold. When the brain has familiarity with something, it recognizes that something more often. For example, after learning that you love to cook with shallots, you notice that they are in many dishes in the restaurants you frequent, or you buy a certain type of car and then start noticing that make and model everywhere you go. But it can also be used in a less supportive manner, such as when the brain takes ambiguous information and interprets it to support its belief or desired outcome when, in fact, you were wrong to begin with. Fortunately, the use of critical thinking can help mitigate the effects of confirmation bias as one analyzes information without bias or judgment, or at least tries to do so. Belief perseverance is a concept that highlights the tendency of people to hold on to their set beliefs, theories, and ideas, even though there might be explicit incriminating evidence that suggests otherwise. I thought belief perseverance was just closed-mindedness or stubbornness at first, as in, I didn't know it was a real brain thing. All I knew was that trying to change a friend's mind about something was challenging, if not impossible, unless we were both willing to be open-minded and unattached to the outcome. But it's actually a thing that was studied by researchers, so I was excited to prove to my dad that I'm not so stubborn. It's my brain. There are different types of belief perseverance, and it can function in both positive and negative ways. For example, if I know I'm really good at doing massage, and a client comes in and doesn't click with the style or energy I bring to the session, it's not going to change my belief about my skills. However, if I believe I'm a good driver, but I'm always getting into fender benders and collecting traffic tickets and still think I'm awesome at driving, well, there could be a problem with my belief not shifting until I choose to up-level my driving skills. Belief perseverance can influence how we feel about ourselves, what we think about other people, think about how first impressions are hard to break, and even what we believe about how the world works. Check out this example from Psychology. In a study conducted by Ross, Lepper, Strack, and Steinmetz in 1977, subjects were asked to read two psychiatric case studies. In the first, the patient was said to have committed suicide after leaving the Navy. And in the second, the patient was said to have run for elective office. They were then asked to explain why the patient had acted in the way he did and their answers were recorded. In both cases, the subjects were able to provide a befitting explanation, complete with proper reasoning, for why these two incidents occurred. After this, they were debriefed that the patients had not really committed suicide or joined the elective office. They were then asked to give the probable outcome of these patients' lives. Interestingly, the subjects reiterated the same outcome as they had done before, in spite of being debriefed that no course of action about the patient's life was recorded.